Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of the main topics for a graphic designer and for any designer and it's a portfolio. I will show you my main portfolio, tell to you how it helps me in my work, show to you my first portfolio and tell you three ways to create your portfolio from scratch. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Guys, let's start from my first portfolio. Here you see my first portfolio. It was created in 2009 and in a three months after I have been starting to learn Adobe Illustrator. Those works were created for a photo stock Adobe stock and uh, in that time I was thinking that it was not bad works. But now I see a lot of mistakes in those designs, but any designer starts from some works like this and then he decides stop or continues to work. It's my portfolio 2020 and it's on the dribble dribble i would say it's one of the best social media websites for a graphic designer if you want to be a dribble member you need to be invited one of members soon i'll make video about the most important social media websites for graphic designers and of course dribble one of them I think some of my works you know because some of them it's my YouTube tutorials. You need all the time add works here. Of course not every day but sometimes in a month. It really helps to find work. Couple times in, in a month I receive mails from customers with online work or orders. Uh, in the middle one of my order cost $300 and if you want online work, in the middle your income can be about $1000 to $1500. Some words about portfolio. When you are still a student on a graphic design course or just finished it or you became self-taught graphic designer like me, it can be hard to find enough works what you like to fill a portfolio. And now I will advise you how to create a portfolio without relationships with clients. And in principle, a learning doesn't stop when you finish your education. Graphic designers learn the whole life and every new year you will become better and better. And as well your portfolio. When you just finished your education, you can have strong technical skills, but you still don't have an enough development imagination. But you want to show your skills and find a job. So you can select any photo stock, for example, now you see Adobe stock, and select theme you like, I pick logo theme, or you can select any marketplace or online print shop and be inspired designs by author you like. And redraw these designs. Or if you already can, take an idea and create your own design. It's not stealing or plagiarism. If you just want to show your technical skills, you can do it. As well, you can draw, for example, famous cartoon heroes. For example, in my trivial portfolio, you can see Homer Simpson or Baby Yoda. But worrying, you can do it only for a personal portfolio, not for design selling. 
For example, you think that you already is prepared to work as a freelancer, but you still don't have a portfolio and want to create it as soon as possible, but as well you want to feel what it look like to be a freelancer. So my advice, pick any freelance website and take an order, not in real. Just select the order you like and try to make it as you see it. So you can to create your portfolio and try to be a freelancer. I like 99 designs. Here customers write their orders as detailed as possible. And for example, let's select this order. Here you see customer wishes and you need to create designs as closer to those wishes as you can. You have descriptions, book details, visual style, it's very, very important. Color to explore, you can select blues or designer choice, creative vision, so here the vision of your customer what design needs and what to avoid, what files you can select for this design and what content needs to your customer. And more guys, you see here designs of other freelancers and you can explore them as well. You can ask your friends or relatives to be your fake customers. Ask them to come up with your design, for example, any logo design. They need to give you a theme of logo type and some examples of logo designs they like and you need to create a logo. But ask them to be fine fold with you and let them ask you to make some changes after you create logotype. And as well, it will be your practice with customers and you can fill your portfolio. Okay guys, that's all for today. If you like my video, please give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next videos about a graphic design and in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator. Bye bye guys. Mwah!